got competition. You need to make an example of whoever this is. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Let's get this money. You got no business with my son. We made the game, Raquel. Stay away from him. I thought I was done. Somehow this shit got a way of grabbing you back. She ain't gonna bother you no more. What's going on, fam? It's your man, VKJ, and I'm back with another video. This is my final predictions for season three of episode eight of Raising Canaan. Let's break it down. So the name of this episode is called Reckonings, and the description reads, As a despondent, Lou becomes a liability for the family. Rock and Marvin work to get the new Heron operation up and running amidst new competition from Kanan and Ronnie. Now, again, this is a major, major problem as Rock is now back in the game. She is ready to run. She's ready to make it happen. But it's going to be some challenges because, yes, Kanan and Ronnie, they are doing big business and they are working with Snaps and Pop. Now, it was confirmed by Juke to rock that yes they are working together they're doing what they're doing and rock got a major problem with her son of course messing around with these cats now right here we believe this is pernessa telling rock about ronnie and juliana and we see Quan is definitely like yo there's mad competition out there we're seeing what's going on so whatever you plan on doing you got to handle it right now we're seeing these south side labels and yes, Rock knows exactly who it is, and she says she's going to handle it. Now, we know how Rock gets down. She is fully engaged back in the game, so she's going to make that call to her number one soldier. That's right. Marvin's going to get the call to go out there to make it happen and take down every cat that's on the scooter. Now, again, she knows the operation. She knows what's going on now. Yeah, they on scooters. Moving the product around the city and Marv is going to be taking flight, snatching cats off of their bikes, doing whatever he needs to do to lock it down. She is ready to get money. Right. So Rock, she ain't playing back in the game. Marv is like, all right, but Marv got his own things that he's dealing with. But again, Rock is going to go see Snaps and Pop personally and let them know, listen, you messing with my son. Leave him alone. Keep him out of this. This is not for him. It's not for y'all to put him in place like this. And yeah, Mama Bear is truly coming out. Not going to understand, you know, because once you got your own child in the game, I mean, you taught him the game and yeah, you did some things. He's upset about it. But Snaps and Pops is kind of like, you know, the new mama and daddy at this point when it comes down to the game. So, yeah, she's going to go up in the spot and really hammer it down for them to let them know. But Snaps, he ain't playing. He's not playing. He's like, yo, you don't come up in our spot telling us what to do. You don't F with us, right? So, yeah, it's on and popping. And at the same time, I think, yeah, Snaps and Pop's going to be taken out very soon. So, yes, Rock, you see it, man. She ain't playing. And when Rock get down like that, yeah, it's going to be crazy. So, definitely going to tell Kane, like, yo, man, your mama's good at this game. I think we're going to see this scene finally. And Kane is going to be like, yo, I'm good, too. I'm good, too. But again, if Rock is now going against her own son, yeah, Kane is going to have to look out for anything because, you know, Rock is ruthless with it. So Rock is going to go see Hakeem and sit down and let him know that she was told and informed that, yes, Juliana and Ronnie are doing business behind his back. And he's going to be like, yo, whatever. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You'll do what you got to do. And yes, Rock is going to get that green light to take out Juliana and, of course, take out Ronnie in the process. Now for a commercial break. Aw, oh, yeah, it's Butter Baby with the new hit single, Rolling With You. Now you're gone and something. Will this group stay together or will they fall apart? Next on Raising Cana is Butter Baby performing at a mall near you. That's right, it's Butter Baby. Oh, yeah. Performing at a mall near you. That's right. It's Butter Baby. And yeah, looking forward to this group coming out, performing at the mall with Shanice. But will they actually perform? Because there's a whole lot of mess going on in the group already. We're seeing right here that, yes, 
their manager is definitely giving them a tongue lashing. But yeah, Crystal doesn't look too happy. And it looks like Juke is in the middle. Again, Crystal and Kanan from that last episode got together. Now, Crystal definitely is Kanan's speed. But Aisha is absolutely upset about this. She is going to see them together. It's going to be pretty bad. And yeah, your girl Juke is going to be right there ready for Aisha. Whenever she's ready to get down with the get down, we'll see what happens with this relationship. But your girl Juke is going to fight it out. She's going to battle it out. She's going to be brawling up in the subway. What's going to happen? Is this group going to fall apart before they even get started? Man, I hope not. But Crystal, super messy, messing things up, doing it out of spite. Now, we see Shirley. She's up in the club and she has a tape in her hand. It's probably for Famous because Lou is not there. Lou is all drunk all over the place. Famous came to see him. But yes, Shirley gave Famous his tape of the 411. What's going to happen with this? Is Famous going to put it out? And will that be his demise? But yes, as mentioned, Lou is all over the place, drunk as a skunk, popping off in the alleyway. Somebody trying to get at him. He got his shoddy for the body. And somehow, some way, this guy, man, ah, uh, man, he ends up at Rock's house, yelling and screaming outside, talking about, I'm here, Rock, I'm here. Man, oh, man, talking about, yeah, we need to tell him who we are. You know, we killers. Of course, Rock is running out there like, come on, man. My neighbors don't need to hear all your mess, man. Shut up, man. You snitching again. You drunk as a skunk. And yeah, this is a bad look for Lou running up in the spot, yelling and screaming like he doesn't even know what he's doing, right? Because he didn't know what he did last time. So your man is outside. That's right. Looking like Eddie came from the Five Heartbeats, right? We remember that five, that movie, the Five Heartbeats, right? But not this version right here. We're talking about this version. Oh man, just just terrible. Your man is not looking good. And Rock, yeah, that's her brother. So she's going to take care of her little brother. You know what I mean? I mean, she's not that heartless. She's not that ruthless. Where she's going to take her own brother out, but she is going to call her mama, Mama Thomas. A.K.A. Maxine Waters. <laughs> and yes, she's going to make him eat that burnt toast. And of course, she's going to be asking for money to take care of her own son, which is real crazy. Rock knows the procedure. Now, let's get to Marvin. Marvin got a lot on his mind, man. He's probably going to let that kid go because he don't got nothing. But Marv, man, is dealing with a lot. He's trying to take care of Gerald, trying to take care of his kids, trying to take care of Juke. Trying to just be there. But what we need to be concerned about is Gerald writing down everything that Marvin is saying and going to do an article or report it to the police. I don't trust Gerald. What do you guys think? Drop your comments below. This is a problem. But Marv is also going to have to worry about Lou because somehow, some way, Lou is still going to drink and he's going to be out there wilding out lost. Now, let's get to this. Ronnie is telling Kanan, you ain't going to have to worry about her no more in the trailer. So who are we talking about? Are we talking about Jukebox or are we talking about Rock? Because I believe that Ronnie is going to have his goons spray up Rock's Jeep. And that's going to be a major problem. She's going to still be alive, but she is going to retaliate. She is going to get the gig back. That's right. So she's going to slick back her hair. Like I said, she went to Hakeem, already got the green light. So she won't hear anything from Hakeem to take out Juliana and take out Ronnie in the process, right? So we believe that she is going to take out Juliana first. I predicted this way back when we were talking about episode two and talking about the season trailer. But yes, she's going to slick her hair back and she's going to go and take out Juliana, right? And then eventually get to Ronnie. So we are going to get the satisfaction, hopefully, in episode eight. It was called out before. And yes, Juliana is going to be out of here. That's the prediction. And yes, I predicted it again in the What's Next video as well. So this is the final predictions, fam, for episode eight of Raising Canaan. Definitely look out for our live stream that we're going to have after the episode on Saturday. Myself, Tyra from Struggle Reviews, we're going to get it in as we usually do. Family, if you found me for the first time, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let's keep this thing going, family. Always appreciate your love and your support. Let's keep making it happen, fam. If you appreciate this video, love this video, like this video, definitely check out the next ones right here. And until next time, 
Salute.